Hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, in this uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss the basic the basic things that we need before starting uh, to look into scientific computing with Java. And uh, now let's see who is this course for. Uh, well, if you are still in college, majoring in math physics or engineering you definitely need to do some scientific computing and uh, if Joe is your bread and butter then uh, yeah you should definitely watch my videos and see what kind of libraries I use for my own uh, scientific computing engineers if you have graduated and in your workflow you need to do some computation and uh, you want to have access to something that is open source Obviously, Java and Python are the two open source languages that are very popular. Now, Python is apparently taking over the world at this point, but uh, I have my own reasons why I'm sticking with Java and not Python. It, that doesn't mean that I don't use Python. Of course, I do Python, especially the Jupyter Notebooks. Interactive coding are great, but I also love Java IDs like Eclipse. They are fantastic. Now, if you're a programmer and uh, your workflow needs to do some uh, uh, data analysis, you need to have some knowledge of what kind of uh, libraries are available in Java, uh, or you gain more experience on writing your own libraries. Now, as I mentioned before, the most online courses on Java, they just focus on the core of Java, right? Writing for loops, uh, most of the course so you can't really find a good Java tutorial that focuses on very specific topics like math doing math different types of math and computation in Java now the disclaimer here is that this course is not a tutorial on the theories and fundamentals I'm not going to teach you what a trigonometric function is but I want to I will show you how to use this function in Java, which libraries, which classes to use, okay? I mean, uh, every now and then I'll talk about fundamentals and basics because you have to have some sort of background, but it's not going to be very deep. All right, who is this course not for? Obviously, the opposite of whatever I just said in the previous slide. So if you have no idea what Java is, you have no business watching these lectures and tutorials because it's not going to be of any use to you. If you have no idea what an IDE is, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, then I'm going to assume that you have never done any programming because I mean, you can, uh, in theory, use uh, text editors, but nobody does that. So uh, if you don't do any programming, you don't need to watch these videos. If you are curious about this kind of subjects then yeah sure go ahead and watch the video but if you want to learn something and you don't have any background on that I guess you have to go and first uh, you have to first go and learn the background if you have no idea about object-oriented programming whatever you've done so far has been functional programming or something else uh, then uh, I suggest you do not watch these videos instead go and watch uh, go and learn the basics of OOP or OOP object oriented programming because Java is fundamentally created and built for object oriented programming if you do not need to work with any sort of math library in Java let's say you're a Java developer but your workflow has nothing to do with math then maybe you don't need to watch this kind of uh, tutorials or maybe you're just interested in other programming languages such as Python I mean I also do Python from uh, every now and then because I really love Jupyter Notebooks and the Python kernel is very convenient for using with Jupyter Notebooks but if you're not a fan of Java then pro you probably have better tools or similar tools you can find in Python so you don't need to watch these videos to learn the basics or if you are just beginning to learn Java this course is not for you I'm going to focus on advanced topics I'm going to assume you know everything about the core Java 
or maybe you just learn Java, but you feel like you need more to learn about the basics of Java. What array lists are, what is an interface or enum, how do we override a method or something, how do we have uh, different type of advanced structures in Java, then uh, you probably don't need to watch these videos. You have to first uh, get more and more background on Java. And when you're comfortable, you can come back and learn more. All right, so what do we need to do first? So for these series of tutorials, I created a GitHub repository and I put all my core math libraries there. So the very first thing for you to do, obviously you have to have some sort of JDK installed. I, I'm sticking with JDA, JDK 8. I assume that JDK 12 is the latest version. I mean, Oracle has been moving stuff around in the JDK and they are also apparently changing the license terms agreement or whatever. So I just, from years ago, I just decided to stick with JDK 8. And obviously I'm going to focus on Eclipse ID. That's my favorite IDE. You can use other IDs such as IntelliJ uh, or NetBeans or whatever else ID you use. I suggest you do not use um, a, just a simple text editor. And then uh, you should uh, clone my math repository because it already has all the codes and we can just uh, go through the code and practice them and learn more about them. So you go to this address uh, and then let's go to Eclipse. And in Eclipse, you click on File, Import, and in the Import, you select the Git, which is already built in Eclipse. And we are going to clone a URI. And since I copied the text, it's already there. And we do not need to have a credential or something. We just want to clone it. Next. And let's go with the master branch. and. Uh, uh, for the directory, I'm going to use uh, my YouTube folder and it's going to download, takes some time. And then I'm going to, I mean, we have different uh, uh, options here. Import existing Eclipse projects, import as a general project. Uh, sure. Now it's there. Uh, maybe, yeah, I shouldn't have. Okay, I'm going to just create a new Java project and then uh, import it as a regular Java project. JD Java Standard Edition 8. The binaries are going to be into bin. We don't have any dependencies and all the libraries are already included, so finish. So Eclipse builds the workspace, imports all the packages, and uh, these are all the packages we're going to look at, and the reference libraries are already there, all the jar files. If you're using other uh, build tools such as Maven or whatever, you can just uh, use those tools. In these uh, lectures, you do not need to build the Java project, it's just downloading and going through the files and learning how to use them. I'm going to disconnect from the Git because we're not going to commit anything. We're just going to go through the codes. All right, I guess that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to start looking into different topics and different libraries that are available here for scientific computation. Thank you for watching this video and look forward to having you in the next one.